Hey guys, this is John with Tackle That, and today we're going to be reviewing this 1280 watt hour battery system with a 600 watt inverter. Great for having some power on the go or for a power outage, so let's tackle that. Alright, let's get started. Let's take this uh, inverter off of here and we'll convert this over to a smaller system with a 600 watt inverter. And this will kind of be just for something that we put in the house to back up a router or a small refrigerator, freezer, that kind of stuff. All right, so 600 watt inverter. Yeah, that works out pretty good. I might be able to mount that way. Wow, that's almost perfect. That's super strong. I did lose my carry handle. I might want to just stick it to the side here. So that way I can carry it around. Um, although that would be cool. Keep it nice and compact. Block some of my terminals. So yeah, let's put it on the side. Ugh. Now this brand cannot recommend at all. This battery tested shorter than its lifespan so stay away from this high uh, energy stuff now, obviously i could have just gotten a bad one but uh you know so we'll do a little of this tape this really doesn't stick very well so we're definitely going to have to put some velcro around it is that any better a better double stick tape does not look like it Velcro is always awesome for stuff like this. You know, you can remove it later if you want to. None of this stuff's permanent. So this stretches a little bit. I get this nice and tight. Like that. That's solid. Very good. All right. So, um, my new inverter came with undersized wire, but it'll be perfect for this guy. So let's go ahead and get those connected up. We're also going to put an SAE connection on there so we can either hook a solar adapter uh, or a my regular charger on there uh, to charge her up when she's depleted. Now these come with uh, a BMS with all kind of circuit protection so we don't technically need anything like a fuse but we might put one in there in the future but for now for this video let's just see if she works Always make sure your connections are tight. That way you don't lose any power or create any heat in your circuitry. So that looks pretty good. I don't really like this too much, but what are you gonna do? One day we can shorten these wires, but again, this is temporary, so. Let's turn her on, power it up, and let's see if she works. All right, I got a couple lights down here. Woo, they're bright. So it's powered up, it's working. Very nice. And then when I want to charge it, I just use one of these types of chargers. And I have 
alligator clips, or I can just take this thing off here. And always double check your connections. Positive, red, red. That's good. And we're charging. All right, as always, thanks for tuning in. Um, final result on the battery pack with an inverter attached. Um, worked out great, really nice and compact, really nice lightweight. Uh, great for just taking some power to wherever you need it without an extension cord. This is a 600 watt uh, inverter, 1200 watt peak, so it could run a, a refrigerator or a freezer or something like that if the power goes out. Um, but really cool setup. Got a little LED light here in case I need light anywhere. Um, and then a shunt, tell me exactly what kind of power I am pulling. Uh, and then over here I can plug in an either an AC charger or a solar charger and charge her up. All right, as always, subscribe for more. We're just getting started. Next thing will be to build this big boy here with a bunch of different types of batteries and we'll see how that works. Thanks again.